Hi hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. We got a beautiful sunrise coming up over there from the great state of Ohio. I have finally made it north to Ohio after all these years. I'm gonna be fishing on Hoover Reservoir today. I'm about to launch my kayak here at the ramp and gonna do a combination of techniques just looking for some catfish. I'm gonna be competing in a tournament this coming weekend. I've come up here a couple days in advance to kind of get a feel for the land. I have never fished anywhere in Ohio before, and especially not here. So I'm gonna get out here, do some suspending today, do some dragging today, and just try to cover as much water as possible. I've brought some bait with me from Tennessee. I've got a cooler full of skipjack. However, I also brought my ultralight rod. I have my live scope, so if we come across maybe some brush piles with crappie or bluegill or something like that, I'll try to get some of those too. Here in Ohio, they're very open on their bait policies. You can use pretty much anything as long as it's caught on rod and reel and meets the minimum size requirements. So I'm gonna use whatever I can get hold of. So I'm excited about it. People have told me for years, Justin, come to Ohio and fish. But their next sentence is always, the catfishing sucks up here. So they've done a lousy sales job, but I am finally here regardless. So let's get out on the water and have some fun today, y'all. Well, y'all, before I even get my kayak on the water, the competition is here. Ryan Bortz, he's come up to fish early too. Ryan Bortz, blue collar YouTube channel, blue collar fishing. I'll get it right eventually, Ryan. We'll you. send them to everybody else's channel but yours. But, but mine, and then, then maybe they'll find mine on accident if I get Accident, yeah. yeah. Maybe they'll accidentally watch one or two of them. Yeah, well, maybe they'll watch me out here beating you pre-fishing. So. Well, do it today and not on tournament day. Well, I'm going to try to do it every day. Well, I don't blame you. I would too. <laughs> Y'all, Ryan here has got a pretty interesting setup here. He's got a, a new canoe, and he has built him some rod holders here. Check that out, man. He can turn his seat around backwards. It's got a 360 seat and drag baits off the back. He pulls planer boards a lot and he has got graph rigged up on the back. He's also got another one on the front. He's got a, a pretty interesting setup there. So y'all check him out again, Ryan Bortz, blue collar fishing on YouTube. Him and I, we're gonna duke it out this weekend in a tournament, but it looks like we're gonna be fishing together today. Well, let's get us some baits on here. I'm gonna do a head and two chunks to start with. Here in Ohio, they've got a rule that you can only use three rods. So. I'm gonna drag a couple baits off the back. I'll drag the head and one of the chunks. I'm gonna cut these gut pockets out here, mix up the cuts a little bit. So I'm gonna drag two, drag a head and a chunk and suspend one of those chunks off the front. And we'll just kind of troll our way along here about uh, half a mile an hour or so. I'm just gonna basically start right here at the ramp and make my way up and make my I'm gonna troll up this direction, loop around, and come back to the ramp the other, and just put in some time out here. I, you know, other than Navionics study, I really don't know anything about this place, so the best way I know to attack a new body of water is just troll. Either drift if you have current, which you won't have out here on this particular body of water, or troll. So half a mile an hour, cover as much as we can today. Let's do it. I'm seeing them, I just can't hit the damn things. They all over. They up chasing Chad. I get them this jig if I just cast it right. By the time I'm getting it to them, they gone, they moving today. Look right here, y'all. I'm about to bust this crappie right here. I'm about to bust him, he's chasing it. He, oh, he nailed it, man. He nailed it, y'all. He nailed it. At least I think it's a crappie. I think it's a crappie, it could be something else. I reeled in my suspended bait here, dragging two off the back because I kept seeing fish on my live scope, which I think are crappie. This ain't a crappie. There's no way this is crappie. I got my ultralight, two pimlet. Ryan's over here hooked up too. Ryan's dragging over here beside me. He's got a catfish on, I'm, I don't know what I got. This ain't a crappie, folks. I got something here on this ultralight. I have no idea what it is. It may be a cat, possibly. It could be something else. I don't know exactly what all is in these waters. Yeah, I, I reeled up my other suspended rod right quick when I started seeing these because 
Ohio's got this rule you can only have three rods out at a time so I was like I want to throw it whatever these things are and I don't know what this is this must be a this is something big whatever it is Ryan's he's still over there working on his this may be a while right here y'all Brian says he's got a good one over there. I got something that ain't a crappie, Ryan. I don't know what it is. Maybe a cat. Well, that fish is whooping your tail over there, Ryan. <laughs> Y'all, Ryan said he's got a 40 inch cat over there. And I can't go over there to film it because I got my hands full with whatever the heck this right here is i may have a four i may have 40 inch on this ultralight run ain't no way i'll make that thing look like a dink <laughs> from that far away <laughs> yeah man i just kept seeing stuff on this on this live scope they're they're up chasing shad and i did this back home back in the winter i threw at a fish that i thought was a crappie with my ultralight rod and it turned out to be a big cat and uh <laughs> you, know, you just never know it's a lot of people claim on the live scope they can tell one fish from another look right here look at that right there that's a big mark down there at the bottom 22 feet here where i'm at we're just making our way R ryan's got two planter boards out and a bait dragging off the back i'm just dragging directly off the back and working this rod off the front this is just a little crappie magnet it's like an inch and a half bait white and chartreuse a one eighth ounce jig head and i brought my ultralight rod up here because i wanted to try to get some crappie before tournament day crappie I've heard is a really good bait here on Hoover. I brought Skipjack. Skipjack, of course, is my favorite catfish bait. However, it's not native to this body of water. And oftentimes when you're using a, a fresh fish that's not normally found there, it doesn't work as good. So I wanted to get some native species. So I brought a cast net with me up here to ohio i'm gonna try to get some shad at some point before tournament day i wanted to get some bluegill i wanted to get some crappie things that are just naturally in here but i i come up here with skipjack just to kind of get me started i didn't want to have to spend time right away catching bait once i got into town this fish here may take me all damn day I got two pound line, Ryan. This is an art form. <laughs> this ain't power fishing right here. <laughs> Ryan's over there talking smack. He's going to get his wife to come over here and land this fish, he said. <laughs> oh, here's another nice one right there. Look at that one. Oh, he just went out of the screen. I just want to get a look at this thing. I don't even care about landing it. I just want to see what it is. He's taking back off now. This is the most expensive rod I own, by God. <laughs> I just want to get a look at it. I want to see if it's a cat. I think it is. Y'all, I'm in big trouble now. This fish ran backwards. He got in my dragging line. This friction between those two lines is going to be... It's going to be game over pretty quick here on my two-pound line. I don't know if we're going to see this or not. Actually, you know what? Can I, can I work around this here? Is this going to be possible? Boy, I think we just got lucky. I think we just got lucky right there, y'all. He went around that line, but he didn't get all in it, I don't think. So I think we're good. 
<laughs> this is a definitely a challenge. I was not attempting to or expecting to catch a big cat on my ultralight. This was just here for the crappie. But I'll take it, man. I'll take them any way I can get them, by gosh. <laughs> there he is, y'all. Yep, it is a cat. It is a cat. Oh, oh, oh. He's going back down. We got to look at him at least. It's a blue. Oh, man, he's around my dang. He's around my dang live scope transducer. There's no way we're not getting. Gosh dang it, how'd he do that? What the hell has he done? There it goes. Lordy days. This little dink blue's kicking my tail. Yeah, there he is, folks. Blue cat. First one on the daggone crappie jig. Skipjack ain't caught me nothing yet, but we hook one on the crappie jig. I'm going to try to get him here. There he went. There he went. Grab my line, but how the heck else? How the heck else am I supposed to get hold of him? So, I knew that was doomed from the start when I hooked into something that big on two pound line. But anyway, at least we got to see him. That was the most important thing for me was getting a look at him. <laughs> Ryan over there talking more trash. Going to be a lot of that today between me and him. <laughs> look over here, folks. Ryan's got him another one on his planer board rod or he's snagged something one who knows he's gonna fight it like a fish anyway is it he says it's decent Ryan, I'm going to have to teach you the same lesson I, I taught Daniel when he fished with me you can't come on my video and show me up I gotta catch more and I gotta catch bigger I'm the star of this show Saturday. I need it Saturday. No, Saturday's my turn again. <laughs> you had a day yesterday. Today's my day. Uh-huh. I, I think we're on the wrong rotation. <laughs> oh, oh. I got me a little action there, too. I got a little dink tap there. Don't worry about that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking at? I can't even see it. It's so small. You worried about the birds or bush, and I got the one in my hand. <laughs> Doggone it. Well, I had one even smaller than Ryan got messing with that, and he's let it go, though. Ryan's over there catching them on crappie. I got to get me some crappie, folks. That's that's going to have to be the objective before tournament day is to come out with a cooler full of crappie because uh, that seems to be the ticket out here. Hold on here, y'all. Hold on. I may have me one. I may have me one here. Ryan's been over there showing me up on my own channel, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch up with him here on one. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't much, but by gosh, he's a fish. <laughs> ain't that right? <laughs> that one I got on the dang ultralight put this into shame. <laughs> At least I catch one on a, on a normal catfish rig here. That can come dragging. Little old thing. I'm gonna need your bigger kinfolk on tournament day fish or I'm whooped. Get out of here. I've already got their parents booked up for my <laughs> I may have to pay them a little extra, I guess. <laughs> Get them to cancel on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, I got me a crappie here. I'm gonna put the head on. I didn't have the day camera going when I hooked him there earlier. Amateur, amateur videographer here. But I got one, and he's a pretty nice one too. Got him on my jig with the with the live scope there, so we're gonna get him put on. Ryan's bites have all come on the crappie head, so we're gonna put that on there and drag it behind us. Well, folks, I just reeled one in, and Ryan can't be outdone over here, so he's he's after him again. Is that your crappie head again? All right, he had a double hook rig, had a chunk of bluegill and a chunk of crappie. Another larger, larger dink, small fun size. Uh, medium fun size. 
medium fun size he says if it ever get the damn thing landed and hold it up we'd get to see it that ain't bad right there folks that's a that's a solid fun sizer double hook rig got both hooks in the mouth the that fish wasn't coming free right there well hold him up here damn it i gotta get back to catching some crappie again i gotta get some bait so i can catch up with you on the cats there you go folks that's bigger than the first one is it Same size, that one's 37. 37 inches. All right. It gets him a few of them on tournament day, folks. You might see him at the top of the leaderboard, right? One spot under me. <laughs> folks, the camera mishaps continue. I got me another small cat on the crappie jig there, just sniping them with the live scope. Looked down after it was over to reset the camera. Didn't have it going. I blame Ryan. I've been talking to him today. It's broke my routine. I got to blame somebody, right? So caught a crappie and another cat. Didn't get any of the footage from it, but I'm about to mix things up though. I'm going to switch out my suspending rod there with, with the sinker. I'm going to take the sinker off, put a balloon on and cast it out behind me because when I am seeing some extra fish, like here comes one, that one's kind of up in the water. That's actually a nice one. I should have tried to drop a jig on that instead of talking to y'all. But there's all this kind of bait in here and stuff and it's if you notice it's up in the water column so i think what i'm going to do is drop a bait down under a balloon and run it six to eight feet and troll it behind me as well so i'll still have my dragging baits going along the bottom because that's kind of worked out i got that one small dragging ryan i think he's got like three or four look right here boy perfect timing on that oh that's pulling some drag buddy that's on that crappie head that's on the crappie head. That's a that's a pretty big bait. Oh man, that feels like pretty good fish too. Yeah, I sniped that crappie. And Ryan, he come down. He drove in last night and he got some uh, crappie in Kentucky before he left to come up here and. Uh, yeah, he's got, he's got, I think, three or four fish now on the crappie, dragging. And so, I definitely got to have some crappie for tournament day, but I also want to run a bait under a balloon just a few feet under the surface and try to pick off some of these fish that are up in the water column. This is a good one right here, man. This is a good one. Right now, I'm 16 feet deep. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish right there. That's solid, buddy. This, I need three of these on tournament day. <laughs> I get three of these, I'm gonna be in contention. On the crappie head, y'all. We gotta get us some crappie for tournament day. I may just have to spend the afternoon specifically targeting crappie. Tomorrow, the weather is questionable. It's supposed to have some storms. I don't know if it's gonna be like an all day thing or sporadic, but I wanna make sure I got plenty of crappie for Saturday. We're gonna get this head back, it looks like. We're gonna reuse it. Let me get this rod out the way here. That's one I was about to tie the balloon on right there. Nice, man. This is encouraging right here. Anytime you fish in a new body of water, it's always nice to get some feedback from the fish that you doing the right thing in the right place. Come on up here, fish. Oh man, that's a nice one, y'all. That's a nice one right there. Yes, sir. Oh, buddy, that's a good one. There's the bait right there, y'all. Crappie head, we're gonna reuse that thing. Look at this slob though, buddy. Nice, nice Hoover Reservoir Blue Cat right there. There's some big ones in here, some big blues, some big flatheads. I'm hoping to get a good, get a good game plan today of what I wanna do on tournament day and hopefully tournament day pays off for me. That's nice right there, so encouraging. You know, anytime you go fish a new body of water, just kind of showing up in the blind. I mean, I, I looked at Navionics. I looked at 
what boat ramps are available and um, you know you can only do so much from the couch at home you know you got to get out in the water explore and uh, just got a good one man <laughs> I'm gonna have to send Ryan we got separated a little while ago he got snagged and you know had to go back for it so uh, he gonna have to get a picture of this hey Ryan Ha <laughs> ha! I'm too far away from him to talk any trash right now. All right, y'all. There's that fish. Let's let him go. Get out of here, buddy. Uh, he gone. All right, y'all. That's fist pump worthy right there. Well, let me get the crappie head reset. We'll tie that balloon on and get another chunk bait out. I'm just gonna again throw it out behind me i'll have it back behind the dragging rigs a few feet deep we'll keep making our way along i'm just just moving man just going about 0.3 to 0.5 all the way up through here i'm gonna rehook my crappie head that other side of the mouth there is a little tore up so we'll get it rehooked like that my dragging rig today a little bit different than you've seen on my channel most people have a three-way with a a sinker going down and then they'll have like a float and rattle and all that i've basically just got like a little dropper rig here with the circle hook and it's on my main line i don't even have a leader that's just directly to my main line at the bottom of my tag in here i've got just a regular swivel down to my dragging sinkers and these i make my own dragging sinkers i've put out a book there on amazon a few years ago there's a link down in the video description if you want to learn how to make these super easy to make very cheap way cheaper than anything you'll find in the in the catfish industry but that's all i got no float no rattle when you're moving through the water i'll try to get this down here so you can see when you're moving through the water the water resistance on the bait will bring it up and kind of float it off the bottom and behind your main line with your sinker going down there along the bottom so um, new rig i've been playing around with it's basically like a modified kentucky rig i want to put a skipjack head under the balloon and i'm going to reel in my other skipjack head on my other dragging rod it's time for it to be switched out anyway and I'm gonna put a chunk of that crappie I got on that other dragging rod. So we'll have the skipjack up on the water column and crappie on bottom. I'll just go ahead and show you this too because every time I use balloons, I always have people ask me how I put it on my line. So you can see there all I'm doing is basically doing an overhand knot around my line. And now I can adjust this balloon up and down and you can do this with floats too that's another question i always get asked is why balloons versus floats but i like balloons better because i'm in a kayak i don't have a lot of storage space these balloons they're a dollar a pack and i can keep a whole pack in the kayak not take up any space but i'm just going to set this probably i don't know we'll do six foot or so up my line my bait's on there. I got a little stinger fly going under it. We'll just toss this back there. We'll put it behind my dragging rigs. And then again, I'm gonna put a piece of crappie on this rod over here, switch out that skipjack head. Oh, my balloon, y'all, my balloon. My balloon rod went down. Oh, oh, oh man. Yeah, buddy, I knew, man. I've seen so many fish up in the water column. I knew we were going to have a chance of busting one under a balloon. My gosh. We got us one right here. He was pulling some drag when he first nailed it. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid fish too, man. That's a fun sizer. That's a fun sizer on the skipjack head, too. I had about lost faith in the old skipjack after seeing Ryan put a hurting on him with the crappie and then me getting that big one with the crappie head. But got this one in the 
right depth got it in its face rod goes down nice man nice one of you can holler over there and tell Ryan I'm catching up with him on the fish count here <laughs> there's the bait on that one old skipjack head and there he is that's a what I call fun size back home now, he was fun, man. He was pulling some drag when he first took that, that balloon under, but uh, I just knew, I knew. I saw so many fish up in the water column chasing bait. You know, I was able to snipe a, a couple of them there with the crappie jig. I was like, man, if I'm just pulling a piece of cut bait along under balloon, I'm liable to get it nailed. And sure enough, nice, man. I'm feeling a lot more confident about a, having a plan for tournament day. I just gotta get some crappie. That's going to be the main objective this afternoon and tomorrow if I'm able to fish around the weather is to get me get me some crappie, get some bluegill, have a variety of bait to offer these fish on Saturday. Hey Ryan, caught up to you. My other head was still looking pretty good but I've got plenty of skipjack so I'm not going to be conservative with it at all. I'm just going to switch that head out and put on a fresh piece so there's the bait with the stinger flying again i've got that balloon about i don't know five six foot up the line we'll toss it back that fly is kind of floating along there under the the bait just giving me another presentation as we move along and for tournament day right now on my dragging rigs i've only got one hook one bait but I can easily, with that dropper line set up there, easily add another hook. And here in Ohio, you're allowed three hooks per line. So I'm going to have at least two come tournament day. Just to maximize my number of baits out there. Let me get this one on video right here, Ryan. This is the best one you're going to catch all day. <laughs> He's got a stick that's about four foot long, folks. That's longer than any fish he's going to catch today. <laughs> you know, I can't tell you, I can't miss an opportunity. <laughs> Hold that thing up there, Ryan. Get the hero shot on that thing. <laughs> While Ryan's been back there reeling in tree limbs, I've been changing some stuff around on my rigs here, y'all. So I'm currently running two rods both balloon rigs i've got my bait set about two to three feet under the balloons it's because i've moved up here real shallow so right now i'm currently uh, seven feet 7.7 .7 feet deep and i'm going to keep working my way on back in this creek just to see what's going on in the super shallow depths i'm just curious most of the action for both me and ryan was kind of in that 15 to 20 foot range out there and I haven't had a bite, a tap, or anything in, in a long while. Only thing Ryan's getting zipping limbs, but uh, I still, I just want to know what's going on. I'm, I'm just exploring out here, you know. So I'm going to make my way on back further in this creek before I turn. And then um, it's about noon right now. It's taken a good while. I mean, I've just taken my time, you know, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 miles an hour from the boat ramp up to here. But I definitely want to spend the second half of my afternoon i'm probably gonna when i'm done in this i'm probably gonna go pack up get some lunch and then come back about you know three four o'clock this afternoon and fish till dark just trying to load up on bait but uh, i just want to see what's going on back in here you know we may get on just a super shallow bite or something all right y'all so i've made my way back here to this bridge just trolling the balloons behind me just no more action once i got out of that kind of 15 to 20 foot depth there it just really slacked off so uh ryan's back here now he's working on some crappie i think i'm gonna get out of here go grab me a bite to eat and maybe go down and hit a different ramp this afternoon try to get some crappie maybe do some cat fishing while i'm out there this morning's trip wasn't super productive as far as numbers of fish goes but i got two quality fish and i feel like i got a pretty good idea now of what i need to do for tournament day i know i need some crappie for bait I know that kind of 15 to 20 foot depth seems to be uh, ideal and not only just 
fish on the bottom there, but up in the water column too from sniping them there on the live scope and getting them under the balloon and stuff. So feeling pretty good about it. Um, just got to make sure I'm loaded up on bait and uh, go hit a, another spot this afternoon and see what's going on there. See if I can find something a little better. So anyway, y'all, I would tell you to check out Ryan's video, but where'd you leave your camera, Ryan? <laughs> it's somewhere back in Kentucky. Look at you. What would you set the hook on then? It was swimming. <laughs> he had him another stick over there, folks. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to catch a stick, I'm going to film it. If I can get a good screenshot of that limb you caught earlier, that's going on the Instagram. I hope you got plenty of uh, SD cards because I catch a lot of them. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, check him out. Ryan Bort's blue collar fishing. He's got a video there on his kayak setup, which is pretty awesome how he's done his rod holders and his ability to fish off the front or the back of the kayak. But uh, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all wish me luck this afternoon, and most importantly, wish me luck in a tournament. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.